Blessed be the name of Jesus, who is and words to come, word without end. This morning we are grateful to the Lord to be here again, to speak the word of the Lord. Last week we intensely spoke to mothers on the team put on righteousness from Proverbs 31 verse 22 that says she clothed herself with the coverings of the tapestry that would suggest physical appearance but we were more concentrated on the spiritual dress code. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 3 verse 8, it tells us to bring food that is worthy of repentance. Hallelujah. And we talked about women who should walk in obedience in order that the goodness of the Lord, the beauty of the Lord, the glory of the Lord should be visible, evident upon their lives. Mm -hmm. yes, Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I want to talk about another woman, Rahab. Because there were other women we talked about that followed Jesus with all that they had and they could, regardless the consequences of the times, because the Roman government was against Jesus because he spoke to the ills in society and he picked up whatever they were thinking and wanting to do so they had crops. The women like uh, Mary called Magdalene out of whom seven devils were casted out. Joanna, the wife of Shusa, hallelujah, and Susanna, and many others that the Bible speaks about in Luke chapter 8. But closely this morning, I want to speak on the team. Your act of obedience can change the course of life. Your act of, of obedience can change the course of life. As we have read here in Joshua chapter 2, little did Rahab know that she was part of the strategy that God was going to use to take the land. Oftentimes, we don't know what God is doing. But our place is to obey the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of the history that the nations around Israel have heard how God took them out of Egypt, how they passed through the Red Sea, the Jordan, how they conquered Nations, as they pass through, it gave a picture to Rahab when it was their time. You know, this morning I spoke about us being sensitive in the time and season we find ourselves. Too many things are happening in the nation. It's about time that we stop being selfish. 
I, me, and my son, God, please help my household. We change the prayer to God, please help the nation. There are those who are prepared. There are those who are still preparing. And there are those who do not even have the clue to start preparing. So we must change the prayer. God help the nation. Amen. Blot out, no life, no death, no death. He said we should pray for those in authority for our peace. You know, like I said, at what level you find yourself, you can be at peace when there is peace. At what level you find yourself, yeah. you can have peace when there is peace. Yeah. When there is chaos, everybody is in trouble. You see, during the COVID, I can remember stepping outside the gate once. I would come out of uh, the house because there's inside inside gate, right? I would come out and, you know, and walk the main from the main gate to the back. The main gate to the back. I would take that exercise walk up and down because of sitting one place, and it was tedious. At one point, it was like I started being down. At one point, it's like I started having these mixed feelings. This is to say that when things aren't right, regardless of who you are, people suffer. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm bringing this example out because we need to understand as believers God wants us to legislate his word. And we cannot do it if we are being rebellious. If we are walking outside the will and the purpose of God we wouldn't understand anything. And whatever hate, it will hit us badly. But we can be exempted as believers if we walk in accordance with the word of God and allow the spirit of God to lead and to direct us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, Rahab was strategically positioned and she did not waste the opportunity. When she saw the men of God, when she saw the spies, she quickly collected. Brought them in her abode. Believers, we need to be sensitive. The Bible said we need to make use of opportunity. Are we? But instead, we have become those who complain and grumble. Hallelujah. Because the king understood her personality. Her position. He did not take Rahab for granted. In as much in the Bible, she's called a prostitute. But she was a well-recognized personality. Who understood her surrounding. And when you read history, Rahab was a priestess. She was a Sangoma. She was not an ordinary woman. 
Even the very king went to her and he wanted to get information. He went to Rahab. That's how powerful. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. But this time around, Rahab understood that judgment had befell Jericho. With all of the wrong things that she had ever done, mm-hmm. <laughs> it was time to make correction. Yeah. 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 That's why she took hold. When the spies came, she said, ah, These ones, they are people of God. Yeah. Here, come in my house first. Yeah. Yeah. But now, so was a lot of us. Yeah. We make mockery of everything and everyone. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot know me until you come close to me. Yes. Yeah. This thing is not about face value. No. If it comes to spiritual things, it's not about face value. God said, draw near to me. And I will draw near to you. Amen. What did the king say to any other person? But to Rhea. Because he knew who she was. Yeah. And what she was capable of doing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your act of obedience can change the course of life. Judgment will pass against Jericho. Rahab had to stand in the gap. And when the security came, Bring the men to us. Blah, blah, blah. Say. Mm. They left long time because I told them and what, what, what. Hey. Mm. And they believed her. Mm. You see how much trust they have in her? Mm. Just that one word. They left. Mm. They did not even search the house. So said, no, we don't believe what you are saying. Let's check one, two, three. No, they believed Rahab. Mm. Believe us. Mm. Believe us. Whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord and be firm. Amen. Amen. Let people around you feel the weight that you carry. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let your environment recognize the weight that you carry. Amen. Let people who know you, people who are around you, they feel the weight that you carry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is God's intention for our lives. Yeah. He wants us to be heavy duties. Okay. Not to be a light for God that anybody can keep. 22 yeah. persons kicking yeah. here, there, and yonder. No. He want you to be that way before they pick you up. They must understand what they are picking up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. The greater one dwells on the inside of you. Amen. You have the power to change what needs to be changed. You have the power to institute what needs to be instituted. But rebellion will incapacitate you Rebellion will disable you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that's the thing of the 
enemy. Yeah. Repel and dethrone him from God's presence. Rebellion. So that's why he won't make believers. No, you can do whatever. God will forgive you. Yeah, God is a merciful God. I know you have heard that before. Ah, just go ahead. When you ask for forgiveness, he will forgive you. God will forgive you. But there are consequences. <laughs> we'll come to that place. Hallelujah. And according to the scripture, after the gate was locked, <laughs> Rahab said this thing, we must settle it tonight before day breaks. She said, I'm not going to sleep on this one. Mm -mm. Life for life. Have you ever come to that place in life that you understand that this thing is a do or die battle? Yeah. Have you come to that place? Oh, yeah. Rahab was there. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. It is so sad. It's easy for us to compromise yeah. because when the easy let out, mm. the church believers easy. Escaping is not easy because you compromise. You are the one who will stay crying. Because you will not be fulfilled. Yeah. Your, what you are anticipating will not come. Mm -hmm. You will be lied to, you will be deceived, mm -hmm. you will be robbed. Yeah. Are you hearing me, somebody? Amen. Amen. There is no two ways. No. Do it God's way and win. Yeah. You do it your own way, you fail. Are you hearing me, somebody? Amen. Reha went to the men. She said, My life is on the line. And we have heard. Yeah. And I know God has given you already the land. Yeah. I want a promise. I want a covenant. Yeah. I want a surety that I am in my father's house. You see now she was not selfish. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, she sent me in my father's house yeah. will be spared. You see, this is why I always say when you obey, it's not only for you, but those who are attached to you and those who are after you. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you disobey, you rob yourself, you rob the people who are attached to you, you rob the people who are after you, and even those who are, who are to be born, yeah. who do not even know about the mess that you have committed. Yeah. Yeah. Now they come, they must fight their fight. Some of us are fighting. For things that we knew nothing about. We are still fighting. Hallelujah. Amen. But Rahab stood. And what did they say to her? If you do not betray us. And everybody. That everything. Everybody that attached to you. Once they are here, they are saved. If they are out there, we are not responsible. But this cloth or this robe or this scarlet by which you are letting us down, let it remain there. Let me tell you something. A lot of us quit to remove the lens mark. We quit to remove. Yeah. We don't know how to keep the court. 
That is another sermon for another day. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't know how to keep the court. We just won't come, you know, dance around. Whatever I can grab, I grab. Whatever I can do, I do. And then I go my jolly way. It's the attitude a lot of us have. We don't know how to keep the court. We don't know how to bind the relationship. We don't know how to build. And we don't know how to keep it going. Hallelujah. Amen. Did Rahab get delivered? Wasn't her father saved? And those who came into her household, yes. When you read in Joshua chapter 6, it said, Une, Rahab house stood, but everywhere else in Jericho was destroyed. Yes. Listen to me, somebody. Your act of obedience can change the course of life. Amen. Amen. It's not about group. Mm -mm. It's about you, the individual. Mm -hmm. Think it's an individual thing. Obey ah. God for yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The apostle Paul telling the Philippian church, he said, work out your own salvation Amen. with fear and with trembling. Amen. Amen. Not because of me, no. Oh. You're very self. Oh, yeah. Pay attention mm. so that God will show you what he wants to show you. Amen. I said the last time, pain is a part of life. There are some things that you may not uh, you, you may not be comfortable with. Mm, mm, mm. But it's perfect for the process. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All of us want to carry the young baby. And so we like the new life. But you know it's, it takes speed yes, to bring that new life. Oh yeah. It is. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes me. So whether it's by normal birth mm -hmm. or by Caesarea session, uh -huh. it takes me. Amen. A pain tells you that you are still alive. Oh, yeah. oh hear me, somebody. Oh, yeah. Pain tells you that you are still alive. Don't run from the pain. No. It's part of the process. Part of the process. Hallelujah. Amen. There are things you may or might not be comfortable with. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but go through by faith. Amen. And God will see you through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God will see you through. Because when you rush some things, you end up damaging. Quick fixes can mess up things. You see, I've been baking cakes for more than 35, 40 years of my life. From grade 9, I started making cakes. Grade 8, grade 8. I started making cakes. To cream that butter and the sugar for it to become wine. It's a tough process. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But after, you cannot tell the difference. No. No. When God wants to bring you to that place. Will he be able to make you taste it? And your life become that sweet aroma. And your presence is that it becomes favorable to the people you meet, people who are around you. It's beautiful. Because there are a lot of things that he got to stir up so that it becomes one with the Holy Spirit to make you presentable. 
Are you hearing me? Amen. Beauty is built. It's not out of a sudden. You want to flash it? Let God take you through. Life. <laughs> Life is by the Spirit. Let us not look at life as ordinary. It's by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Your act of obedience can change the course of life. Rehab life change. She did not even know that she was part of the strategy that God was using. Amen. Do you want to be a part of the strategy that God will use? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want to be a part of the strategy that God will use? Amen. Avail yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't listen to what people will say. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to what people will, 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 will be sounding. Not how you feel. No. But what God wants. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ray has saved my father's house. Amen. You see, like we read in Psalm 34, verse 22. It says, The Lord redeemed the soul of, the, of his servants. Yeah. And none of them that trust in him can be desolate. Amen. And that word desolate means bleak. Or empty. Like I said earlier, whatever you want to do, do it in the name of the Lord and be intentional. Amen. The last time I talk about decision, you must be sound in your mind. Yes, sir. Be resolute, say no matter what. I choose to obey God. Amen. Not your feelings. Not your emotions, Amen. not your surrounding, Amen. not the situation, but to obey God. Amen. Rahab, the priestess, she served Satan all the while. Amen. But when reality came to reality, yeah. she knew the difference. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because she'd been a Sangoma, who she said, Eh? You been a some woman, who are you said? Talk to me. Who are you said? That devil of yours. Familiar spirits, using familiar spirits to tell people things. So that's why all the hurricane of Jericho were flocking in her place. Yeah. Because she was telling them things. It was not about herself. It was about familiar spirits. Yeah. But when reality hit reality, she knew the difference. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, God wants us to live exemplary lives so that his glory be revealed. Amen. She told the man, she said, we are very old. And we saw what God did. So this is not the place where I'm coming to come and play gamble with my life. Me, I want to live. Life is a decision. Yeah. And a beautiful life is built. Amen. Amen. And through her life came Jesus. Yeah. So you see, genuine repentance. Genuine repentance brings transformation. Amen. Genuine. Amen. Repentance brings transformation. Yeah. Yes. There are some things that will break away gradually, mm. but the major things, aye, they will fall flat. Mm. 
and gave God the space in one's life. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning, I want to encourage us that the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life. Hallelujah. Amen. And to depart from the snares of death. The fear of the Lord. Proverbs 14, 27. Fear God. Fear God. Hallelujah. Fear God. The Bible taught in Matthew 25, verse 1, about the wise and the foolish virgins. I talk about preparedness. The wise, they prepare themselves. But the foolish ones, they have this carefree, you know, we can try to maneuver, you know, whenever we have the time. That's the attitude of some of the believers. Some of us are taking our time to stay focused, to do what God wants, to walk in obedience, to study, to pray. But some of us, I, I will always repent. Yeah. Uh, I will come when I feel like I will do this. Listen to me. There are benefits in obeying God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I was talking to somebody one time. I said, every time I look at you, you ask me, oh my, why you look at me the way you look at me? I said, because you have the life and the fire of God in you and you are playing with it. You passing around you are drinking, you are womanizing, you are doing whatever, you are doing whatever. I said, don't allow this thing to catch you on a way and then you have to be laid down on the bed to make a covenant with God. Don't allow that time to come. I said, you have the fire now. You have done whatever, 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 whatever. Repent. This thing about the kingdom of God, you can't, you, you can't be two ways. The enemy knows and the day he will strike, he will strike you so hard until you wouldn't be able to stand. And he just, <laughs> ah, oh man. I said, I'm done. Hallelujah. Amen. The enemy hates us with passion, especially for those who have accepted Jesus in their hearts. The moment you accept him, ah, you become an enemy to Satan. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can be playing with the enemy's things. Yeah. Don't go to his doorpost and go and go and play the no. And he opens that door slightly, he will waste hot water on you. The enemy hates the Christian with passion. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your act of obedience can change the course of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen and listen well. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. Today, a lot of people are making sacrifices. Mm. This is all when the men of God say, bring 5,000, they are running. Mm. Bring 10,000, they are running. Mm. What are you running to? Simple. Repent. Yeah. Make a new 10 and start obeying God where you are. Mm. You don't have to spend your resources. If you were spending, you must spend it wisely. Amen. So that you'll be able to benefit not out of skin. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Rahab obey and she saved her household. Yeah. Your obedience can save your household. Mm -hmm. Your obedience can save your, your relatives, your, your, your family, your town, your neighborhood, your obedience. Mm -hmm. So whether you know that somebody is watching you, mm -hmm. they are looking at you. And if they see the progress, 
They see the success. They see the elevation. They see what God is doing in and through your life. Don't worry. They will come to ask you the reason of your hope. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You really have to go to the, They will come to ask you. But a lot of times, Today we are in, tomorrow we are out. <laughs> it's about time that things change. Yes. Rahab save a household. You can save your nation. Amen. You can save your environment. Amen. You can save your town. Amen. Right now as I speak to you, South Africa is going through a lot. Yeah. For us as Christians, as believers, let us be intentional. In serving God, so that this nation be saved, so that the generation after us be saved, even the ones now, they get so they can get saved. Stop playing church. Stop playing with God. You play with yourself. He is sovereign, and He's watching. Hallelujah. Amen. You see when uh, David, I close on this point, one act of disobedience brought the sword in his household. He slept with Uriah's wife. He did not rest. Killed the husband. Brought the lady in the house. And the prophet Nathan went to him. Hallelujah. Amen. And after the conversation, he said, Who is this person? Who? He said, hey, Well, now wait. You are the one. He repented. It's true. But judgment will pass. And God told him through the prophet said the sword yeah. that you use to kill Urias, that sword will not depart from your house. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Second Samuel chapter 12, verse 1 to 14. Hallelujah. And in verse 14, he said, He said, How bit by this deed thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme. The child also is born unto thee shall surely die. The innocent child that did not know anything about the sin died in the process. Disobedience can rob. It destroys. And in chapter 13 of 2 Samuel, incest came in David's house. Anna came against his sister, despised his sister Tim. Defiled a sister. And Absalom got angry. And he had a plan. And he killed his brother. You see? One sin will lead to another. One sin will lead to another. One sin will lead to another. Hallelujah. One sin will lead to another. The whole world is going to chaos. But they that know their God must be strong and do exploit. We got to keep standing for the name of Jesus Christ. And let us not breed the occasion for People to blaspheme the name of Jesus. 
that we are named. Amen. Remove compromise. Remove disobedience. Remove the flesh and let the spirit take its place in our lives. Disobedience change the cause in David's household. Disobedience. So when I'm talking, you say, Ah, Mama, it's too harsh. It's the word of God. Amen. You want to write? Do it the way God wants. He didn't create yourself. He created you. You are the shape of this pastor. He's the one who has made you and not yourself. Allow him to be the shepherd. Allow him to lead and to guide you in all things and in all ways. Rahab brought life to her household. In as much the Bible says that David was the man after his heart. But there were cares. He said this what? I told you last week, she clothed herself. So you yourself, be careful. Life is a big soil. Be careful when you throw into it. The kind of seed that you throw into it. Because it will grow and you will eat the fruit. You put in good, you will eat the good. You put in the wrong, you will eat the wrong. I'm telling you. Because you say, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time in our lives. Let's be mindful of this. God wants us to be exempted. He wants us to live separated lives. We are called by his name, Christians. What the unbelievers go through, God does not want us to go through. He wants to give us the wisdom Amen. to be able to bypass. But if we walk in disobedience, we'll suffer with the wicked. He does not want us to be empty. He wants us to be full. He wants us to be saved. He wants us to be delivered. But it takes our agreement. Let's agree with God so that we know peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Your obedience, your act of obedience can change the course of life. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, mm. where will you find yourself? Ask the Lord to help you deep, deep into your spirit. So those things that are causing hindrance, that don't want you to move forward, that don't want you to embrace the things of God, that don't want you to honor God in your life, deep, deep, let the Holy Spirit help you. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord bless you.